Today, let's look at the FV1 Digital Signal Processor Board by Electrosmith. Not a paid promotion, bought this module myself because I find it interesting. This board is based around the Spin Semiconductor SPN1001. It's essentially the typical application listed in the datasheet with a convenient pin header to attach it to your specific application. And today the application of this circuit will be a Eurorack module, which will take Eurorack voltage levels and reduce them to the 3.3 volt range the DSP expects. Electrosmith provides an Eagle part block for easy schematic capture. The audio input is a voltage divider with a unity gain follower. The audio output boosts the signal back to Eurorack levels. The DSP functions are controlled by three toggle switches and patchable potentiometer inputs are routed through switched jacks, then through a gain stage that shifts the minus five to plus five volt input range to a zero to 3.3 volt range. More on the math behind this can be found in the SLOA097 application note by Texas Instruments. The faceplate design looks like this. With all the jacks, potentiometers, and switches, it fits in six HP. With all the hardware mounted, I started the wiring by soldering in the included pin header to the DSP circuit board. Then mounted two chip sockets on some perf board strips. Then I mounted a socket for the DSP board and the power connector. The wiring for the audio in and out looks like this. The wiring for the control voltage looks like this. Here's the pre-wiring for the faceplate. And the final wiring with everything assembled. And a final touch. A quick smoke test later, and we're mounting it in the rack. FYI, this DSP draws about 100 milliamps of positive voltage. So now let's make some noise. For this demonstration, I'll be using this keyboard controller, a YM3812V3 to generate the sound, and this mixer to connect it to a recording device. Here's the dry signal. Now with all the switches down and the potentiometer in the middle. First switch up. Second switch. I believe this one is just a pass through. Third switch. First and second.
first and third. second and third. And all the switches up. I think I like this one the best. So the verdict, the DSP works, is easy enough to use, so if you're into DIY synth or pedals, this might be worth checking out.